wherever you may go, over land, in any place and in any town, everywhere you will find impostors who boast of suggestive trickery magic, and of activities of the shadow world activities of hell magic, but do not open your ears to them because everything is merely an illusion of the insubstantial and hallucinations delusional constructions. In order to exploit you and to make you believe that inexplicable supernatural things exist which might bring you harm if you are not connected to the practitioners of suggestive spells and acts magicians, and do not give them a hype payment. Do not allow yourselves to be deceived by practitioners of suggestive spells and acts magicians, so that you do not live in total darkness in your thoughts and feelings and in your inner world consciousness and forge intrigues guilefulness yourselves in order to deceive others through suggestive trickery magic truly if you do such things then you are merely forging intrigues guilefulness against yourselves which you do not notice however because you are chained within yourselves through forging your own intrigues guilefulness truly only the truth is the smith of all irrefutability rightness reality flawlessness realness truthfulness and if you receive a sign evidence of truth, of the real truth, then open yourselves to it and comprehend recognize what realities you are receiving so that you may know what you must begin with the truth, so you can pass on the message of the truth to people of your kind the next ones but if people of your kind human beings do not wish to accept your message then do not allow yourselves to be suppressed by them and therefore show no submissiveness if they forge intrigues guilefulness against you. You shall be strong and guide lead yourselves so that you broaden open your breast feelings for the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, so that you accept the truth and do not fall into delusion, because if you make your breast feelings narrow you close your feelings for the truth then you cannot rise into the insight firmament height of all cognition wisdom, because you impose affliction danger on yourselves and are knowing ones in the truth. Consider that the real truth is the path of life, the straight path which is right and only the truth presents to you the signs evidence of its reality so that you can consider heed them. In yourselves is the dwelling of peace of love and of freedom as well as of consonance harmony, determined in all truth, so that you may call of these high values to your united confidential friend, with which you determine your deeds. Truly, if you gather as righteous ones conscientious ones, and fair ones responsible ones, with people of your kind fellow human beings, then seek out those amongst you who are not dependent on infamous actions crimes, inequity and fairness, and unaccountability conscienceless rather seek out people of your kind fellow human beings as friends so that you may enjoy advantages benefits from one another in uprightness and dignity and determine a lasting friendship at the end of the period of gathering your dwelling place shall not be the fire of a shadow world hell in yourselves but instead a garden of joy and love of peace of freedom and consonance harmony and you shall stay in it and be full of happiness. Never place malefactors doers of gewalt, and shameful ones and other non-righteous ones conscienceless ones, and unfair ones irresponsible ones, above yourselves in order to lead guide. You, rather be your own leader's guides, in righteousness conscientiousness, in equitableness fairness, and dignity in order that it may go well with you. Truly, the true prophets have come to you since time immemorial, come forth from your midst, to teach you the signs evidence, of the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, and proclaim to you and warn you of the non-rightful doings you shall not do so that you will not be brought to account one day for misdeeds and outrageous acts of gewalt, and so that you allow love to grow up within you creating freedom and peace and consonance harmony within you and connecting you to equitableness fairness and righteousness conscientiousness do not bear witness in non right against yourselves so you do not deceive your life on earth and neither give false testimony false oath 
against the real truth and do not become unfair ones, irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones, conscienceless ones, so that you do not have to be ashamed of yourselves. Do not harbor enmity against yourselves, and also not against others who have different skin colors and languages as well as different customs from you, or who have fallen prey to belief assumptions in gods or tin gods, and therefore do not wage battle war against them either, so you do not destroy their cities and hamlets villages, or kill murder, people of your kind fellow human beings and this shall be so irrespective of whether you warn or threaten the inhabitants of the towns in advance, because it is not rightful to harbor enmity against people of your kind human beings, to wage battle war, and to wreak destruction. Heed yourselves to be fair ones responsible ones so that you are not out to condemn others for any sort of reasons that may be convenient for you. Do not cause them harm or kill them in order to rob their possessions or destroy them. Consider that all people of your kind human beings are on different steps levels of unfolding evolution, so that some are further along than others and some are believers in gods and in gods, in liberators, angels, and demons whereas others are connected to the real truth and therefore you cannot assess people of your kind human beings, according to these things with regard to their being of your kind being equal to you and truly, you are all different from one another according to your doings, therefore you cannot oversee assess all people of your kind human kind, but only one or another as you cannot consider assess an entire people according to the deeds of an individual or a collective group, Truly, you are the master over yourselves in all things. So you are self-sufficient ones and create for yourselves benevolence or malevolence if you want. You can take away everything from yourselves that is of love, of peace, of freedom and of consonance harmony. Or on the other hand you can allow true love and freedom and consonance harmony, as well as true peace to prosper in the place of your inner nature according to your preference and therefore you can do the same for your descendants if you instruct each them in one or another way. Truly, what you promise yourselves will happen for you, and you cannot thwart prevent it because your power to act volition is your kingdom of heaven. Act both alone individually and together as a people according to good ability with regard to the laws and recommendations of the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, so that others will not act against you ac according to bad ability, therefore consider that your final reward will always be in accordance with how you acted in good or bad ability therefore it will go well for the fair ones responsible ones, and righteous ones conscientious ones and it will go badly for the unfair ones, irresponsible ones, and non-righteous ones, conscienceless ones, because they will be called to account and punishment. And do not allow fruits of the field to grow and livestock to be raised bread, in order to be misused as sacrificial offerings to gods or tin gods because you fallaciously believe that it would bring you advantage benefit, or placate the gods and tin gods but truly, Neither your prayers, invocations, edifications, nor your supplications, nor your offerings, sacrifices, reach the gods and tin gods because these are mere insubstantial figures of delusion illusions, which can neither bring you goodness nor evil. Consider that only the primal wellspring of all vitality's creation, with its laws and recommendations and its appearance nature, is truth and reality. Therefore you are making a terrible decision conclusion. If you believe in gods and in gods, 